What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of the Tennessee Titans offensive line, because in my opinion, this unit had a pretty damn good game. And I think because of that, Will Levis had a little bit of success, Derrick Henry, Ty J Spears, and generally speaking, the offense kind of got it going, and I think this offensive line was a big factor to it. Plus, I think this interior offensive line is the most underrated interior offensive line in the NFL. Daniel Brunskill is a guy that we covered a lot last year in San Francisco. Center Aaron Brewer is arguably the most underrated center. And Peter Skronsky is arguably the best rookie offensive lineman out of this past class. The guy's been dominant. Now, I know the offensive tackles are not figured out yet for the Tennessee Titans, but I am confident that over time, either Nicholas petit Fryer, Chris Hubbard, or even Andre Dillard will hopefully be able to lock down those tackle positions. But with that being stated, I'm very fired up for this video. Let's get right into it. So you got a five yard shovel pass on this one. It's basically a running play, but I want you guys to watch some of the offensive linemen. I mean, this is the physicality that the Tennessee Titans have started to play with, with some of the guys up front. Keep an eye here on the center, on the block here, and watch him get physical and straight up crush this one technique de tackle. Look at this. Look at him continue moving the feet, and ultimately he's going to put this guy into the ground. Even more so than that, if you guys watch the left guard, left tackle, they're going to have a double team block here on the four eye technique defensive tackle. And watch how much they move this guy out of there. To me, this play hits because of that double team block right there. The push you have with these three guys here is ultimately what allows this play to work. And this is part of why I think the Titans have a very, very good underrated offensive line. It's because of plays like this. The physicality that these guys want to play with. One of the reasons why Will Levis had so much success this game was because of the pass protection up front. Uh, you got a very, very smart unit up there. And this plays a really nice example to kind of show that off. Uh, right away, at, before the ball gets snapped, the Falcons are going to line all these guys up here on the line of scrimmage. And they're going to try to confuse and trick the pass protection. I want you guys to watch the left guard here, Peter Skronsky, because the guy lined up to his outside shoulder is going to drop off. Look at how quickly this guy recognizes and processes this play and gets his helmet back to the inside as soon as this defensive player here drops back. Skronsky's helmet turns quickly back to the inside. He gets a hand on the D tackle, which is going to release the center. The center is going to come over and help the other guard. And then the guard there is going to kind of just stick with it. But you see it within these guys, how good of a job they do in terms of processing. And more so than that, watch the rookie running back here. You need your young players to step up and make these type of blocks. And that's such a beautiful job right there by Ty J Spears. Fantastic play. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got a six yard run here and it does not get better when it comes to the blocking up front. Uh, there is an initial part within this play where the defensive end almost makes the play. I'm not 100% sure exactly why it's blocked the way it is and why it's kind of designed the exact way it is. Where you're going to get a double team block here. And the pitch is basically going to lead you right into that guy as it does here. But Henry does a great job being able to break the arm tackle. But the offensive linemen do a really, really good job. And you got to give credit here to the guys up front. If you guys watch the right guard on this one, look at how quickly he's able to hook this defensive tackle. I mean, look at that. He's literally taken two steps and he's already gotten out in front of this defensive lineman and he shut this guy down. There's no way this guy's going to be able to get off and now make the play. So that's a really nice shot by the right guard. But backing this up a little bit more, watch the center and watch the center get up to the backside linebacker and look at him not only get there, but look at how he takes this guy out. Bam, cuts his ass off. To me, that's such a good job by the right guard and center to be able to cut those two guys off. Even Peter Skronsky, the left guard, is going to do a really nice job. His block's a little bit easier, right? He just has a simple inside reach on the defensive lineman right in front of him. But that's a really, really nice job if you guys ask me. And this play picked up seven yards. And it's because of the offense lineman up front. It's a really nice job. Let's get into the next snap. You got a 47-yard touchdown pass here by Will Levis to DeAndre Hopkins. A really nice job by the quarterback to just throw it out there and let his wide receiver get underneath it, catch the ball. It's a really nice shot by Levis to take that one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but you also got to give credit here to the offensive line for basically keeping the quarterback clean. This is a seven-step drop, so within that, when it is a seven-step drop, you got to be able to hold it down for your quarterback, right? He needs the time to be able to get it out. Now, this does look like it's a nine-man protection, so generally speaking, the quarterback will be kept clean. But if you guys look at the left tackle here, he's going to jump set this, which kind of tells the defense this is a play action. You can see the linebackers also kind of get sucked in at the beginning of the play. At the same time, you see the left guard help the left tackle. And then you see that all of these guys are able to kind of just shut it down. 
And then Levis gets the ball, puts it out there, and he lets his playmakers make plays. It's a really, really nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. So one of the reasons why I believe Peter Skronsky is one of the best rookie guards in the NFL is because of things like this. This right here is special. This right here is unique. You don't get guys doing this right here. That's a very, very good job by Skronsky. Not only does he recognize this play here, but he gets out there. You know, some guys would not be able to take this angle right here and cut off a blitzing corner or safety. But you see Skronsky has that processing ability to get there. This is a top, top tier play by Peter Skronsky. It's a really nice job. The quarterback does technically get sacked because he is trying to run with the football. He ended up losing about a yard on this one. Not a big deal. Nice job by the left guard. Let's get into the next snap. You got another really nice run here by Derrick Henry. This one popped for about seven and a half yards. Really nice job here by the left guard and center. If you guys watch this play, the center and left guard here are going to double team the nose. The guard is going to release to the linebacker as soon as the center is able to flip the hips. And within this play, Henry is ultimately going to kick it right to the inside there. So it's a great job by the center and left guard. They're able to create that small little crease by holding off the blocks. Left tackle does a really nice job as well. Left tackle is trying to ultimately get around to the left side of the D tackle if it's not possible. You just push him out, seal him outwards. It's a really nice job by the center to left tackle. Let's get into the next snap. You got a pitch play here to the right. The play only picks up three yards, but you got a lot of really, really nice blocks by some of the guys up front. Now, the play does not work here, primarily, at least in my opinion, because on the right side of the screen here, and you'll see it here in a second, Burks does not do a good enough job here on the linebacker. You got to shut this down. I know it's a wide receiver on a linebacker. But there's just no excuses for this in the NFL. You got to be able to make the blocks because there's plays that will pop for touchdowns if you make your block correctly. Now, what's impressive to me about this play is the right tackle pulls does a pretty good job kicking out. Number 15 does a pretty nice job sealing off here. But the blocks that are impressive to me is going to be the center and the right guard. The center has a very difficult reach block here on 72 and the right guard has a reach block around the right side of that D tackle up to the inside linebacker. And he also does an equally good job. I want you guys to watch the right guard first. He's going to do a good job with the left hand. He's going to get up to the linebacker. And at this point, he's won, right? He has the angle. It's a great job being able to understand the blocking angle that you need to take within a play. But the more impressive block is the center who's going to reach on a two-eye technique defensive tackle. That's a hard-ass reach. And you see not only does Aaron Brewer get there, but he shuts this guy down. Right, He takes a really, really nice wide angle to the right, and he ends up getting to the exact position that he needs to be in. I mean, honestly, he's already won this block. The second he takes three steps to the right, he gets out in front, really gets that left hand in there, gets physical. And then within that, he shuts this guy down within the play. That's just a really, really, really nice job. Now, the play should have probably picked up a little bit more yards. does pick up just about two, three yards, so it's not a massive gain. But I did want to point those blocks out. And I did want to point out the fact that sometimes it is just one block. That's the difference between a play really popping and a play really not picking up any yards. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this out. So left tackle Andre Dillard is in at this point. Fryer went over to the right side of the offensive line. And watch the double team block by the left tackle and left guard on this defensive lineman. They're going to absolutely get this guy out of there. They're going to move this guy one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine yards off the ball. I mean, that is freaking impressive. Now, this is part of why the Titans had so much success running the football this week and why I think this offensive line is severely underrated. I'm not sure if Andre Dillard's the future left tackle. I, I really don't know at this point. I know he got benched earlier on in the season and he really didn't even work with the Eagles. And at this point, who knows what he is or what he isn't. But I do think that this offensive line has a little bit of upside based off of some of the guys that you kind of see so just wanted to point this play out it's a really nice job by the left guard left tackle let's get into the next snap check this play out the Tennessee Titans are going to run ISO against the Falcons and they're going to absolutely crush them I mean it does not get easier than this right here I'm not saying that the Falcons did anything wrong honestly I think this was just executed very very nicely and ISO is one of those places very easy to kind of run uh, because of the fact that these blocks here are so simple, right? They're quick out blocks, very, very simple to run. Right tackle also has an out block here. The fullback's going to get up to the inside linebacker there. And that leaves the right guard, right tackle with the double team climb to the inside linebacker. This play's really difficult to stop, right? Because you're putting this guy out here 
as the only unblocked guy, and he has to really be able to make this play. This is a great job by both Aaron Brewer and Daniel Brunskill. They're going to do a really nice job with the double team. Initially, Brewer really gets that shoulder into him, and you see the double team, and they really move this guy off the ball. Guard does a great job getting off and really seeing that the linebacker is going to take the right side of number 72. Right, So the right guard gets off, the center sticks to the defensive lineman, and the safety that was supposed to make this play does not make this play. So this one picks up almost 15 yards. And again, the seal off blocks by these three guys as well as the right tackle, it's all super simple blocks. I mean, the right tackle simply seals out. The left guard, left tackle, tight end all simply seal out as well. This is a very, very difficult play to stop. Number 85 gets to the linebacker. Really nice stop taking the inside. 15 yards, just like that. 61-yard pass, really, really nice shot by Will Levis. Uh, really nicely designed play, if you guys ask me. And DeAndre Hopkins, man, has been on fire these past couple of games. This is a really, really nice route. I got to give credit here. If you guys keep an eye on DeAndre Hopkins, watch him sell this. And Richie Grant, the safety bites, and he's gone. And more so than that, the offensive line once again steps up and does a good job. You know, I watch a lot of offensive line content every single week. And I can tell you guys right now, these pockets are not there the way they are here for the Titans, for every other team. Will Levis has time. And that's a big part of him being able to get these passes out and have success. And a part of him having time is also the fact that these offensive linemen do a good job. Now, they do drop off one defensive tackle, which means there's only three guys coming. And you're just not going to get past this offensive line. Skronsky does a great job initially double teaming the nose tackle. Get off that. He's going to come over and help the left tackle. And that's just a really, really nice job. And, of course, the right tackle also just kind of sticks to number 96 by himself. And ultimately, he shuts that down as well. It's a great job right there by the Titans' offensive line. So one of the things that I noticed right away with Nicholas petit Fryer is he looks a lot better at right tackle than he does at left tackle. Not saying he won't be able to play left tackle as we go forward, but it is clear he's more, he's just more explosive. It seems like him at right tackle may make more sense going forward. And maybe Andre Dillard's the, the guy that starts at left tackle. Maybe that ultimately happens. I'm not sure, but the right tackle here does a really good job passing off the defensive line game. Not only is he going to take this DN, he's going to pass him off to Brunskill, but he's going to come back around after he fully passes this guy off. And I don't think people understand this. This is a big part of passing a guy off. You need to keep your hands on him as long as possible. Make it as easy as possible for your guard before you get off and come back over here to the other guy in which he obviously does and is able to shut down. That's a really, really nice shot by the right tackle there. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. This is truly elite vision right here by number 32. Great job being able to recognize this play. You know, the play here is designed to go to the inside here, right? To follow the fullback here. You got the double here up to the linebacker here. The play is going to pop if he goes to the inside. But he also recognizes the fact that this guy's coming super fast off the edge. And he's going to actually just bend this to the outside. And he sees that lane. He has that vision to be able to recognize it. And he hits it. And he picks up 23 yards on this one. This running back right here, Tajay Spears, is one of those guys that I think is the future of the Titans. I know Derrick Henry is still a really, really good running back. This guy's definitely the real deal. And you're already seeing plays like this his rookie season. I'm excited for Spears to kind of continue to develop as this offensive line continues to develop. It's still a fairly young offensive line. Nicholas petit Fryer is literally in his second season. He's only 24 years old. Aaron Brewer just turned 26 less than a week ago. Peter Skronsky's 22 years old. And I'm not sure who the left tackle is. If it's Dillard, he's only 28. And Bronskill is 29, but as a guard, that's not really that old. So I think there's a lot of upside here with this offensive line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We definitely will be covering the Tennessee Titans on this channel as we go forward. We'll be analyzing the O-line, some of the defensive linemen as well. And we'll be breaking down the Titans on film. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time with another video.